Hey, hey guys, what's going on? This is Throw here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map, the series where we build an adventure map, uh, us together as a group, as one big happy family. So, guys, yeah, welcome back. I apologize in advance, not in advance, I apologize, um... For right now because I I haven't put a video up in three days and you know it's not like it's that big of a deal but um, I'm just a little upset because I forgot to uh, tell you guys that I was leaving I actually had to go on a trip for the weekends I had to go and uh, I actually was rafting on a river I was going on a river trip uh, for the weekend so I couldn't get any episodes out uh, it kind of just like came up right behind me it kind of happened really sudden so uh yeah, I couldn't get any uh, post recordings in or anything like that, but hope you guys can forgive me, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a great episode, so um, stick tuned. It, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty chaotic. Hopefully we don't break this game. So, um, I did a couple stuff off of camera, guys. I did a couple stuff yesterday after I got home. Uh, one of that being, um, I did another trade for... Uh, I forgot, what's his name? Gwynendorf or Dwynendorf? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's Dwynendorf. Dwynendorf, right. So, um, I also fixed the uh, Dwynendorf's uh, staff. Thanks for all the suggestions, guys, telling me that I'm an idiot. Um, I was using Flame 1 instead of Fire Aspect 1. So, uh, yeah, not my best, uh, not my smartest moment. Because, like, if you guys don't know, Fire Aspect's um, is for swords and stuff like that, but, uh, flame is for bows and arrows, so, yeah, not the, uh, best idea, actually, we can't use that, we need to use a creeper, let's use a creeper, and let's see, yep, yes, awesome, that's what we're looking for, he's actually getting lit on fire, which is a really good thing, if you guys didn't know, so, yeah, uh, Gwynendorf, Gwynendorf, keep uh, saying his name wrong, um, I also respelled the, the staff, thank you also for telling me that, uh, Gwynendorf's staff is also fixed, um, Bleach Fireball has always been good. It's always been really, uh, really just perfect. We actually perfected it the very first time we added it to the trade. That's good. And I added this, Vibrant Boots of Speed. Has a magical essence in which causes... Wait, in... Wait, has a... Wait, okay, I need to add some periods and some commas, some grammar issues here. Has a magical essence in it, which causes the user to run faster. Faster. No, faster. <laughs> Can't talk today. And that is two diamonds. So if I get uh, two diamonds, one, two, there we go. Put it in the, the pots. Where is it? There we go. And put these on. Let's go ahead and put these on. Actually, you don't even have to be... Ooh, that might be a little bit of a glitch. Maybe we shouldn't have that. I don't know. Um, when you even If you just hold the boots, you run faster. But if you put on the boots, um, you will always be running faster. So it might be a personal, personal, a personal preference. I don't know. Uh, we might have to change that. I actually just noticed that. Like, if, even if you're holding them, you'll uh, start to run, which is kind of weird. I don't know. We'll have to uh, see how you guys uh, see how you guys like it. Man, I cannot talk today. It is ridiculous. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right. So I know what we're gonna do this episode, guys, and it's gonna be very fun. Uh, if you guys do remember, if I teleport here, there we go. Uh, I set up this doohickey uh, last episode, this right here, and I said I would save it for next episode, and it is in fact next episode, so we are going to work on it today. Uh, if you guys are wondering what we're going to work on today, we are actually going to add custom paths for villagers, so the villagers aren't just going to be staying completely still, they're actually going to be walking and uh, stuff like that. So if I head back to the main area, I got a test villager already set up over here inside the inn um, right here his name is Max and he just does 10 gold nuggets for 10 carrots and 5 rotten flesh for 1 gold nugget so it's just a basic basic villager and uh, yeah this is him meet Max he's facing a wall and kind of levitating at the moment but uh, we'll change that in just a second and uh, also another thing we need to do is we also need to make a path for the villager so we need to put in the commands that allows the villager to walk on the path and we also need to add the uh, the path itself. So um, I'm gonna go into a creative world and show you guys what I'm talking about, and then uh, we'll take all the commands and whatnot and we'll put them into uh, our world here. All right. Okay. So I will be right back. All righty, guys. So I am in my get out of here. Okay, you're on the path now. Um, yeah, this is the world I showed you guys last episode, guys. This is the the. Um, 
well, first of all, these are the commands that you all need for the custom villager pathing. And the way that they actually work is that um, it detects if a villager is standing on a certain block, certain uh, stone stair facing a certain direction. And depending on what direction that stair is facing, um, it'll actually push the villager in that uh, that that way that the stair is facing. So um, it's pretty complicated. Um, I actually had to uh, look at a bunch of videos on how to do it. it took me forever to finally figure out, but um, I finally got it. So here's an example right here. The stairs are facing that way, and the villager will in fact walk that way, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, this is basically what we're gonna do today. Except we're not gonna have it in just like a basic square. Um, we're gonna have it like go all over the place and stuff like that. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna have a, It's gonna look like they're actually moving and stuff like that, like real immersive AI and stuff like that. So, um, these are the commands. Uh, I really don't feel like getting into them. Um, I might post a video or something in the description or something. Uh, maybe, uh, hopefully, if I remember it. Um, and then you guys can see uh, what all these commands uh, are and whatnot. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and copy all these commands into the adventure map and I'll be right back. All right. Alrighty guys, so I got all of the commands set up. I think it should be working, uh, I believe. Let's actually give it a test run real quick over here. Uh, let's grab me some, what do we need to grab? We need to grab cobblestone stairs. Where would they be? Let's see, right here, okay. Uh, cobblestone stairs and a villager, just a basic villager will do, and some polished granite, why not? Okay, so. Um, head it over here, 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 wait, here, okay, and layer it on top, we didn't even use the granite, okay, and there we go, it is working, awesome, so, uh, let's kill you, my bad, and let's head over to the village now, uh, there we go, and now, the fun part, we have to make a path for our, uh, our test subject, Max, over here, so, um, where should we put him? Um, let's see. Let's try one right there. Keep going down, and we'll just, like, keep on making a kind of a set path for him. I actually might want to do this off camera because it might take a little bit. Um, yeah, so we'll start right here, and we'll basically just go in a continuous loop. So I'm going to keep on uh, working at it, guys, and I'll be back in just a second. All right. Okay guys, this is the very first path. It actually kind of looks like Texas, not gonna lie. Actually, that might be kind of offensive, but that's the way I see it. It kind of looks like the state Texas. You guys probably don't know it. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, this is the basic path. Um, now all I have to do is fill it in, and then we will give it a test run. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. The reason I didn't actually make it go up any stairs or anything like that is because I don't think that it would actually work. I mean, it would work with a different command, but the command that I'm using right now, I don't think it would work going upstairs. I'd have to play around with it off of camera. Hopefully we can get that next episode where they will actually be able to uh, walk upstairs and stuff like that. So, anyways, let me just go ahead and fill this in, guys, and I'll be back in just a second. All right. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and grab the command for max really quick right here. Awesome. And uh, quickly, let's grab a power source. There we go. Redstone torch will do just nicely. Okay. Um, where is it? Right here, I believe. We'll start it right here. So, um, how are we going to do this? Let's see. Right here. All right. And then place that in there. And let's just adjust the points, point zero 0.05, that's definitely not it, uh, 0 0.5, there we go, and set it to negative 1, I think it is, and moment of the truth, oh, is he doing it, let's see if he does the full path, oh, oh, come on, do the full path, oh, he did it, he did the full path, that is crazy cool, guys, look at that, he looks like a real villager, <laughs> you can right click on him, view all of his uh, stuff. Man, that is actually really cool. Moving villagers. That is really cool. And if we get it more advanced, um, allow them to uh, climb up uh, stairs and stuff like that, we could actually get like this whole entire town just thriving with uh, walking villagers and stuff like that. And the best part about this is you can't even push them off the path. So they have no AI on them. So you can actually just walk straight through them if I can get to them. Um, yeah. And he will actually 
just uh, keep on going, which is really, really cool if you guys think about it. So, um, I'm going to see if I can do one more path somewhere. Where could I put it? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, I'm going to keep that guy right there, see if I can do one more path, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. All right. Be right back. Oh, man. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, so I got another one set up in the, uh, the, what is this, the tavern, the inn right here. Oh, see, look at that. It was just like walking by. You can just see him walking around. Looks really cool. Um, so I got another guy named Teddy, and he just has the, uh, the same exact trade that, um, that Max has. But, uh, yeah, he's actually walking around in the end. Uh, the also, the also, another cool thing that you can do with, um, this, uh, system is you can actually, if we teleport to the commands, um, I believe, which which one is it? I believe it's point two. So you can actually decrease the amount of speed that the villagers have. So uh, if I change everything to point two, I believe it's point two. If I'm wrong, that'd be unfortunate, but um, I believe it is. And we go back to the place. They are actually moving a lot slower than last time, which I think I like a little bit better. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I definitely think... It looks like they're walking more. It definitely looks like they're walking more. Um, let's see. Are you dying from in here? Let's see. I heard a villager getting hit. Oh. Oh, you're a little suffocated, bud. Um, maybe we should move this a little bit. Uh-oh, you're about to die. Well, okay, made it. Um, yeah, let's move this a little bit. Let's move this over one, just so he doesn't get suffocated real quick. Um, I think. Let's see. Yeah, he's getting suffocated, so let's change it to... Wait, next time it comes around, we're gonna see if we can speed change this. So, oh, just sorry, just punched you, Max. My bad. Uh, come over here, and... Okay, sorry. There we go, keep on going. Awesome. And fill everything in. Uh, there we go. And good. Okay, so he's not uh, dying anymore, which is really good. Sweet guys, very cool. Um, I've been cutting the video so much I have no idea what time we are running at, but I feel like we got a lot of cool stuff done this episode guys. Um, yeah, it was definitely really really cool uh, to uh, finally have some walking villagers. It's making the adventure map uh, even more immersive. So I'm going to take a screenshot right here, right as the villager walks past. Um, there we go, awesome. I think that's going to look really cool. So, guys, um, no idea what time we're at for the episode. I really hope I'm not cutting it too short. Um, I might be cutting it a little bit short, and I feel bad. Uh, um, I have no idea. Uh, let me just quickly tell you my plans for the villagers um, before we end up the episode. So, um, I'm probably going to be able to get to them to uh, walk upstairs and stuff like that. I'll probably be able to get them to actually jump across the pond um, in time. Uh, but uh, right now, this is very, actually a pretty good accomplishment for uh, right now. So um, next episode, um, they might actually be able to do a uh, really a lot better, more AI. I'm probably gonna work off of camera on the AI to see if they can jump, walk upstairs, stuff like that. Uh, I'll try to post the video in the description if you guys want to learn how to do this because it is very very cool uh, But yeah, hopefully we can get like an entire uh, The entire town like just roaming with villagers villagers now villagers which I think would be really cool another thing would be really cool is to uh, have um, Ramps and guards so like guards that would just patrol around the uh, the town and stuff like that I think that'd be a pretty cool idea if you guys ask me so Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of La Bam. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more videos like this one. We try to post every day, especially during the summer. My name is Piano Thrower, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys, and peace. Oh, no. No, 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 please. Please. Please, no. Please, equip the flare. Equip the flare. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, 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 there's a flare. There's a flare right there. Stop, 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 stop. Please, no, please, please. I'm begging you. I, you can take all my stuff. You can, you can take all my stuff. I'll just go. I'll go. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's fine. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We're not...
I guess we're not. I guess we're not going that way. Oh my god! Freaking hell! Oh come on! The wolf better not track us down and eat us. 